In today's English lesson, you will learn how to use the word ubiquitous. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Tricia, and I'm here to teach you real English used in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today you will learn the meaning of the word ubiquitous. Ubiquitous comes from the noun ubiquity and is derived from Latin. And it means present, appearing, or found everywhere. Synonyms are everywhere, <laughs> pervasive, universal, all over, and common. An antonym or opposite meaning is rare. Here's some sample sentences. In the United States, squirrels are ubiquitous. In my opinion, the most ubiquitous food in the U.S. is pizza. In grocery stores, you can find many brands of both frozen and fresh pizza, as well as, as ingredients to make your own pizza. In addition, pizza restaurants are everywhere, at least one near every neighborhood. And here's a sentence from the Daily Beast. The link to this is in the, in the description. But that changed in the 19th century when two important developments helped to make ice cream the ubiquitous snack it is today. Now some related words include ubiquitously, an adverb in ubiquity, a noun which is pretty formal. Another related word is ubiquitin. I'm going to show you a paragraph of text that you can pause and read to yourself if you want first. If not, I'm going to read it for you while you look at it. And then I will have a short quiz to ask you questions about it so you can test your reading comprehension. And this will be very good for people thinking about taking the TOEFL exam or GREs or some other exam needed to work or study in the United States. Ubiquitin is a small protein that is found almost everywhere in our bodies and in the bodies of other animals. It gets attached to other proteins and then affects what happens to them. For example, some proteins that have been tagged with ubiquitin get broken down by the proteasome. The process of having ubiquitin added to a protein is called ubiquitination or ubiquitilation. The degradation of proteins is the main function of the proteasome. And the ubiquitin proteasome pathway, or UPP, is the principal mechanism for protein catabolism in the mammalian cytosol and nucleus. Okay, now it's time for the quiz. Number one, true or false? Ubiquitin is a ubiquitous protein. Based on this paragraph about ubiquitin, you can infer that in this context, tagged means A, a label gets placed on the proteasome, B, ubiquitin becomes attached to proteins, or C, someone mentioned proteins on a post on social media. Number three, protein catabolism is the blank of proteins. A, degradation, B, buildup, C, breakdown, D, both A and C, or E, none of the above. Again, like usual, the answers are at the bottom of the description. Now, if you'd like to practice your English, practice using the word ubiquitous in the comments by answering this question. What is ubiquitous in the country you live in? And that's all for today's lesson. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Sign up to get emails and other English help from me, and watch another English lesson from me. And goodbye, and remember, with hope, anything is possible.